Hey, this is Farmer Teacher on Farming Simulator 22. We're on our Hoop Bailaron Let's Play series up to number 11. Uh, it is March. Now, what we should do in March is plant uh, sunflowers, plant sunflowers, but also we should sell the sunflowers that we have. Uh, before I plant sunflowers, though, in the last episode we upgraded our tractor. I'm going to go get a bigger cedar. So we're going to head up to the shop there. See if we can get us a bigger cedar. Because, you know, when you seed, plant, cultivate, it takes uh, time. You have to wait on that increases your game playing time for the same amount of money so I want to get a little bit of bigger cedar as far as game playing time I can get money quicker it's not going to help as far as the actual game like per day in the game but it does make my playing time a little bit less as far as finishing those activities all right now what I want to do is save my I want to save my fertilizer and stuff, so I'm going to offload that. There you go. I'm going to sell this thing. Pretty basic, but it does uh, fertilize and seed, and that's what I want uh, again. So I'm selling that for 27 grand. Now the one I want is going to be like 90. So I'm still going to have to borrow a little money from the bank. Okay. And we're going to buy. Oops. Planter. That one doesn't fertilize. It's going to be this one. Uh, this is a great piece of gear here. It's a little cantankerous to work with. Once you learn how, it's great. It needs 180, horse, 180 horsepower to pull it. So two of my tractors will pull that, which is good. My new one and one of the older ones. Uh, so that's, that's going to be a buy there. We're going to get that. Boom, boom. Now, what I was talking about is you, you pull it this way, but you actually operate it from the other, from the side. So, I'll have to show you that. Let's see if I can load this stuff in there. Okay, you got the fertilizer in there. Got our seeds, we are good to go. So let's go back, show you how this little puppy works. This is my new tractor, by the way, it has 220 horsepower, so plenty for this, plenty for this. Should make our operations go a little quicker. Hey, that little like a Volkswagen, a Beetle. All right, let's go out here to my sunflower field. My other fields are planted and growing. My grass is growing. Not ready to harvest yet. I just did it last month. You get about four crops of grass a year. Four crops. All right, let me show you how this thing operates. So what you got to do... Uh, 
Oh, never mind. I gotta disconnect and come around here. I do have crop damage turned off. All right, so you have to come at this thing from the side. This is the Optimus RS. Okay, now I'm gonna unfold it and it folds away the trailer, which is pretty cool. So it has a trailer where you can tow it around without getting in the way of anything. going oh I'm sorry I got it set on corn you got to be sure you set it on the right crop the good thing is if it's not in season it will stop you I have planted the wrong thing something I didn't want to during the wrong time so he's going that's working good this new uh, cedar has a nice big look at that swath let me just see how wide that is or planter I mean I'm sorry It is nine meters wide, nine meters wide, and it fertilizes and seeds, so it takes an extra step out. And that's going to be really nice. That's going to be really nice. All right, now, why that's doing that, what we need to do, I think I'll use this one. It's 26 miles an hour. we got to go sell our sunflower. Flowers. It's like the grain elevator. He's off going to the green elevator. While he's going, I'm going to check my greenhouses here. Top these off a little bit. Yeah, they're a little more. Don't want him to run out because if you do, it just costs you money for nothing. Cool little well here. It's a mod for two thousand dollars. Let's me fill up right here instead of running to the water source like it was at the beginning of the game. So he's coming along great. See, so he'll be done in just a few minutes. So much better. Allows me to move on, make money faster as far as game time goes. Let me check my money here. So I have, yeah, I can borrow 110,000. This is my 190 horsepower tractor. It should be a little better up this hill. That 
little 135 styre, I had it going up here and it struggled. It slowed down to like five, four or five miles an hour. And I don't have a full load, but still this one's doing great, 20 miles an hour. So I've gotten rid of the styre. I have no more really small, weak tractors. They're all medium size. So I have three. 220 horsepower, oops, 190 horsepower, this one, and then uh, 170 is my weakest. So these two can do my new seat or either one of those. Okay, this hill's getting me a little bit right here. Still, that's better than three or four miles an hour. He's struggling, he's struggling. Oh. Okay, getting in some speed. It's like, how much further? Oh, this guy is knocking this field out. Look at that. And I don't have to fertilize it when he's done because it's putting down fertilizer as he goes. So if you look at that, that light blue there, it's been fertilized once. So once it sprouts, when I go to the next month, I will fertilize it then, but I don't have to do it today, this month. All right, check on my tractor here. It's up to speed again, but it's turning. All right, here we go. See what we're going to get from this. We'll pay back a little of our loan once I get this money for this. Okay, so this is my field full sunflowers $39,000 not too bad not too bad let's pay back before I forget so what I like to do is keep my uh, money low as I get more money. I'll pay back money. So I have 155 I can borrow, looks like. All right, so we're gonna let these guys, this guy's gonna finish, the other guy's gonna come back, and we're gonna go on into the morrow. I'll see you in a second. Okay, this guy's done, so I just wanna show you, you gotta unfold it and that puts a little trailer back out and you're going to detach and go around here and this is how you haul the thing I mean you could move it around the other way I guess but it's not going to fit in the garage Look at those hot air balloons. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's see, where am I going to store this thing? It's a lot longer. I think I'm just going to pull it right here for now. I guess I can back it in there. <clears throat> it's going to stick out. Well, not quite. Uh, 
hitting the side. It's a little cantankerous. See if I got it. I think I got it in there. Man, that thing's long. Oh, no wonder. I didn't think it was that long. All right, there we go. Yeah, not too bad. It's in there. A little to one side. Hey. <clears throat> okay, so that's all planted. We've turned our stuff in. Let me just double check. Look at our fields here. They're all ready to go. Everything's planted. Everything's growing. So we're going to go on into tomorrow, next month. Then we'll have to fertilize the sunflowers. Money went up because of our greenhouses, so they are good to have. We have five greenhouses there. We always get more than we need to operate the farm. Plus a little extra to keep us moving up. Okay, I'm going to fertilize this and we'll be back. Okay, it's now May. We have fertilized our sunflower field going into May. And the uh, thing we got going on now is our grass is ready to be harvested again. So I'm going to disconnect him and get him cutting grass. Oh, I forgot my weight. Let me drop this weight off. Yeah, you can't connect uh, something to the front with a weight on there. Probably use my biggest tractor because I don't have a weight on it. That's what I should have, should have, could have, would have, should have done. Okay, next month I gotta harvest my. Uh,
he's going. See how these guys are doing. Yeah, they need a little water. I think I missed the second one. Big tractor. I wish it was a different color. I'm gonna get this guy. Go get my winter over. So we've gotten some pretty good equipment lately. We've got a new tractor. I know I could have bought a field with that money and it was tempting, but it's just slow going with those base uh, cedars and planters and stuff. So I needed the new tractor so I could get the cedar and, my, and to pull my planter with. Let's see. I actually my planter will work. Blue track, 190 horsepower. I think it needs starting to get some better equipment our next step is to buy that field north of us uh, but I need like two hundred and seventy six thousand dollars so hopefully around January when I harvest all my stuff sell my we'll see how it goes how much I can get field. I could put some of this into production, but I really don't have enough farmland to make that worth my while yet. Because the thing's going to sit idle. Let these wind rowers work. I saw one the other day out in the country in North Georgia uh, in real life. It was just kind of cool to see that. Some of the equipment that I've seen and used here, I saw them out there in a field uh, cutting grass and wind rowing it and then uh, bailing it and stuff. I said, oh, that's cool. Anyway, all right, we're going to go ahead and let him run and fix this stuff. We'll be back shortly. Okay, I'm going to pick up my baler. So we can start baling and wrapping this grass to make silage. Silage is very, very profitable, by the way. I mean, I thought about just doing just grass, but it gets kind of boring. I like the other crops. It gives you a little bit of uh, variety here and there. You can make a lot of money off of silage. I have a video on that, by the way. It's actually the most profitable crop because you get four crops a year. I 
back up just a hair. If you don't, you'll leave a little patch of uh, grass there. tractors going. Okay, we'll be back. Hey, it's now June. We finished all our grass, collected those bales, put those away. Now it is time to harvest barley. I was thinking something else too. Since we're harvesting barley, it's going to be a while since we can get that other field. What else can we do to expand the farm? Well, since we got barley coming out of this load, or this month, I thought I'd try to get a chicken pen. A maple swath. You want to collect the straw. Always on your wheat crops, you got to remember to do that. So we will put straw down because that's a big chunk of your money there. That's why we have a forge wagon. <coughs> All right, excuse me. Let's see. Let's go to construction. Animals. Chicken pen. I want this one. I think I'll put it over here by the house. That should fit over here. It's eighty thousand dollars. Let's go to the bank and borrow some money. Okay, so we have. We're gonna need to be up over. Uh, I can pay some back if I don't need it. All right, try this again. Construction animals. Chickens, chicken pen, and it will fit. Let's see, let's turn it so I'm collecting pallets from this side. By the way, when you do this, I always save the game, and I just saved it for this evolution. In case I mess it up, I can go back then and recover and try it again. Like I've had tried to put these in, the ground was way level. It just didn't come out good. That should work. We don't need to get to that other side, do we? Boom. All right, now, before we get too far into it, in case I have to go back, Eggs are going to show up here. Cool. And well, let's buy a few chickens. We'll get a rooster. Yeah, we'll get oops. We'll get five roosters. That'll make it interesting. I just like to hear them crow. Chickens. <laughs> Oops. And I need some chickens. And I'm going to get some ready to go here. And just let them make eggs and reproduce. So we're going to get some of them. How much is 60 chickens? There you go. 60 chickens. $3,300. Boom. So 
So when we get our barley, we can put some in there. And uh, I just start making eggs and chicken. That's kind of cool. Fits there nicely. Right next to our house. We're going to smell chicken mess in the house. <laughs> Look at that. All right, so that should give us some eggs showing up there once I get some barley in there. See how he's doing. While he's doing that, we'll collect some of this. Pick up, turn it on. And we are collecting some straw. We end up storing that in our hayloft till like uh, January, I think, is the best time to sell straw. For barley, I was selling it. Uh, so now I'm going to keep this load of barley and just feed it to my chickens and see how that goes. And the next season, I'll see if I have extra. But even still, I'll probably just collect that because uh, as the chickens reproduce and get all the way up to 360, I'll need more and more barley to keep them going. So in the long run, you make more money selling the eggs than you do selling the barley. But at first, I'm gonna take a little bit of a hit because I'm not selling any barley and it's going to take a while to get the egg production up. Good thing I have my greenhouses. So when I get my first load of barley, I'm just going to run it over to my chicken pen, get those guys going, because they won't do anything until you feed them. Or chicken barn, I guess. About to catch up to my harvester here. Too far ahead. Let's see how he's doing. Almost 80% full. Excited to get my chickens going. Uh, we're going to need a forklift too. Let me take a look at them. Now, one of my favorites is a lizard mod there it is because it goes look at this it's 37,000 this one's 37,000 this one's 36 horsepower goes 15 miles an hour the lizard for the same money is 72 horsepower and goes 26 miles an hour so I think we're gonna buy that I'll have to borrow a little more money while he's working Why the lizard? Okay, where's our truck?
nobody. So it's going to be him. Our harvester is about full, so I'm going to grab this load, feed it to my chickens. I do have crop damage turned off, luckily. As our farm progresses, I'm going to turn more and more stuff on. Lime, plowing, uh, weeds. I don't have it on yet, but we will. And you can kind of see how those operations work. the chicken pen will take of this. Let me take it all. Can't tell from there. Okay, I got 8,500 liters. So we'll put it in our chicken pen. Love driving these tractors. Hear them go through the gears. My granddaddy was a farmer down in South Georgia. And it just reminds me of when I was six years old, I used to ride in his lap. And as I got older, I learned how to drive the tractors myself. All right, let's see. So all that went. So now, okay, that's about full. So one load got them going. So I'll put the rest in the silo and uh, take it out periodically to keep that full. And we'll see how that progresses. Shortly, we should have some eggs. In the meantime, let's go get our forklift. We don't need it right away, but pretty soon we'll have some uh, eggs showing up. And there we go, look at that. That's me, incidentally. That's really what I look like. <laughs> that avatar is a striking image. I like this thing because it's fast. And watch this, oops, watch this speed here. And the Volkswagen, kind of. Even if I had to deliver a pallet with this, you could do it because it goes, you know, 26, 27 miles an hour. Look at that, 27 miles an hour. Great for a forklift, especially a small one. Whoa. I have flipped these over though, so you gotta be careful, especially when there's a little ice out. I have a video on that my forklift like flips and trying to get it back over. So we are getting ready for eggs. I gotta just park this right here. Well that's gonna be in the way. I know. I can pull it back here. Out of the way. There we go. So when we get eggs, they'll show up and... By tomorrow, we should see something there. Not a whole pallet, but something. All right, let's get back on our forage harvester. All right, we're gonna go ahead and pick this up and uh, we'll be back. 
Hey, this is Farmer Teacher. We're back. We've harvested all the barley, put it in our silo, finish it up on the straw, but I need to get this guy started cultivating. So we're going to get him out here and get him going. We fed our chickens. Everything's going good there. So next month we'll see how that's going in the next episode i guess so that's all for this episode we'll get him going uh, cultivating finish the straw and we'll see you back here on episode 12 who build it on uh, let's play so see you later bye bye